Okay, this is part two of Freedom Summer in 1964. In part one, we uh, left off where we had free, uh, freedom workers. Uh, these individuals here, James Cheney, who was an African-American, we had Michael Schwerner, and uh, Michael Schwerner was age 25, Andrew Goodman. And each of these individuals here had been arrested, placed in the Neshoba County Jail by Deputy Sheriff uh, Cecil Price. And where we left off, these individuals had been released. They were trailed by, tailed by two cars and they got about eight miles south of where Philadelphia, Mississippi is today, and they turned off on County Road 515, 515, and uh, went about 200 yards, uh, maybe maybe a little bit more than that anyway, to a place called Rock Cut Road. All right, and here's where they were forced to get out of their car, and uh, we had these, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, six to eight of these uh, largely Ku Klux Klan members, and came up to the three individuals, and one individual, Wayne Roberts took a pistol and he shot Mickey Schwerner right in the chest, right through the heart, and I uh, took his life. Uh, then he turned to Andrew Goodman and shot him. Another individual, we think anyway, James Jordan, uh, shot James Cheney and uh, I, I killed him uh, for the body of James Cheney. He was castrated, he was mutilated, and when from there, the bodies just disappeared and they would be gone for 44 days disappeared for 44 days. All right, let me refresh your memory on this. These are the individuals that we addressed during part one. And Mickey Schwarmer here, you had James Cheney and the center here, Andrew Goodman over here. And of course, as I said, they disappeared uh, for 44 days. The FBI got involved in this. Uh, there was a, a new act that had taken place called the Lindbergh Act, which authorized the FBI to, uh, uh, in cases of uh, suspected kidnapping, to become involved in this. So the FBI got involved. You know, huge surf efforts, search efforts would take place. Uh, you may not be aware of it, but there's actually a naval base present in Meridian. It's a naval air station. That's what it's known as today, Meridian Naval Air Station. And so sailors from the United States Navy were ordered out to search for these three individuals. And these individuals were not found, you know, not for 44 days. On the other hand, and this is crazy, on the for other hand, in all the searching that took place during this summer of 1964, and, and, and largely July of that time, eight bodies, these were African Americans, eight bodies were discovered. One was even wearing a core t-shirt, and they were just discovered, you know, throughout that general area. These were people that the, the Klan, probably the Klan anyway, had killed, you know, during in this uh, terrible period of time. All right, so anyway, let's go back to our camera here. These three individuals, as I mentioned just a second ago, another photograph showing you some of the search efforts that were taking place there, searching the waters. Uh, they actually found the car. They discovered the car. This would be uh, two days later. Uh, this is a core vehicle that we talked about earlier. Uh, blue station wagon, you can't tell from it here. It had been burned. And in fact, when they found it, it had been partially submerged down in one of the little bayous or creeks there. And it was still smoldering as they had burned it here. And of course, dragged it out there. You know, no bodies were found whatsoever. And the search continued for 44 days. And then I'm uh, not real certain about this, but uh, after that period of time, uh, somebody uh, disclosed some information, and it could very well could have been a Mississippi Highway Patrolman by the name of Maidner King. Uh, I'm just not really certain about this, that the bodies were allegedly placed buried within an earthen dam. It was at the, uh, the old Jolly Farm, the old Jolly uh, farm, which is right outside of Philadelphia, about, oh, maybe two miles outside of Philadelphia on Highway 21 towards uh, uh, Carthage, Mississippi. All right, so the, the places I mentioned right there, uh, in case you're trying to take some notes on this, was the old Jolly Farm. Uh, it's located on Highway 21. Uh, and like I said, it's about two miles you know, to the south and to the west, you know, of Philadelphia. Philadelphia is not a very large town. Uh, it hadn't changed a whole lot. You know, it's just a, a, a rural town, even though it's a county seat. So anyway, the words I was using a few minutes ago was the earthen dam. And uh, apparently a dam was under construction at that time. And one of the individuals that had killed involved in the killing of the uh, uh, James Cheney and, and, and the others uh, allowed them to uh, 
put the bodies within the dam and a bulldozer just covered the bodies over and then the earthen dam just was built over those individuals. Uh, here's a photograph and this was 44 days later. It's on the uh, 4th of August in 1964. You can see the uh, partially decomposed bodies that were present there. 18 individuals were arrested. Golly Moses. 18 individuals were arrested and of course these were uh, uh, not prosecuted. Most of them were released. Uh, the first trial that would take place uh, there would be a prosecution of seven individuals and uh, all of these associated with the Klan. Uh, the, the sheriff, Lawrence Rainey, was uh, was even arrested and uh, came under investigation but there, there was just not enough evidence even though he was a member of the Klan there was not enough evidence you know to bring him to justice there all right so uh, the jury deliberated they came to a hung jury on two occasions and then uh, uh, since no verdict could be rendered you know the individuals were allowed to go uh, the second trial took place a little bit after that in February 1967 and uh, here I'll show you who let's go to uh, my documents camera here and this is the second trial uh, seven of these individuals were found guilty Cecil Price is deputy sheriff here at Doyle Barnett uh, he had made a written confession Wayne Roberts who had shot uh, Andrew Goodman and shot Mickey Schwarmer uh, James Arledge Billy Ray Posey James Snowden Samuel Bowers I'll show you a photograph of him in just a few minutes here and uh, he was actually the Imperial Wizard of the Mississippi White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan uh, here's a photograph I promised you here of the Deputy Sheriff that's Deputy Sheriff Cecil uh, Price you can see his name right up here and the other individual who was the Imperial Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan Samuel Bowers there he is right there uh, all of these individuals were found to be guilty and they received uh, term sentences, if you will, uh, three to ten years. Nobody served longer than six years. Uh, Cecil, wrote, Cecil Price right here served uh, uh, six years uh, prison sentence. Two other individuals associated with this, Edgar Ray Killen. People call him, uh, Killen, an appropriate name there, uh, Edgar Ray Killen. Uh, people call him preacher. He was a, uh, I think he was a Baptist preacher, you know, from that area anyway, found guilty on three accounts of manslaughter uh, sentenced to 60 years uh, 20 years for for each of the deaths he was just an accomplice with this the other individual james jordan who supposedly is the one that uh, that killed james cheney uh, testified against the others uh, he was cooperating with the fbi tried in atlanta uh, and, and he was sentenced to uh, four years in prison all right uh, another photograph this shows you edgar ray killing the people that person they call preacher here all right another photograph uh, and this is kind of interesting this is a historical marker that identifies uh, roughly the site where uh, it tells you here goodman cheney and schwerner uh, murder site this is not actually accurate uh, this is on highway 19 about oh eight miles seven eight miles uh, south of uh, Philadelphia on the way to Meridian and it's just on the highway there now at the intersection right here this is this is where County County Road 515 is and if you take that if you're going south if you take the right and go about 200 yards I guess it's about 200 yards to Rock Creek Road and uh, here's where you'll find Rock Creek Road here that's what it looks like uh, it, back in this direction here this is where highway 19 is and of course uh, coming up this way turning over here this is a uh, rock cut road here and the, uh, the where those three young men were killed was right in right in this location here there's not a historical marker there today but if it so uh, moves you to do so you can uh, you can visit there all right, back to our, our map here of Neshoba County, and this is Neshoba County, Mississippi. If you want to get an idea, here's Philadelphia here, and you want to get an idea of where the uh, uh, the Zion uh, uh, Methodist Church was, it's uh, over to the, uh, the east of Philadelphia, just a couple of miles, but like I said, you know, it, it, it was burned to the ground. Now, where the bodies were found at the old Jolly Ranch was over on the other side of Philadelphia here. This is to the western side. Uh, you can see the road here. My eyes aren't sharp enough to see this. I think this is the road here, 19, that goes to uh, Carthage, but here's where the old uh, uh, Jolly Farm is. If you travel that road, you'll see dams 
uh, lakes and dams on both sides of the road. So if you, you'll need to look to the south side there. And of course, that's private property. You cannot uh, go there today. Here's Philadelphia here where my marker is. Here's uh, Meridian. It's present here. And where the, a young man was killed was r roughly in this area here. Like I said, about eight miles you know, to the south on Highway 19 towards Meridian. Now, at a church... Uh, outside of Philadelphia, there's a memorial established to those uh, three Freedom Sermon uh, social workers here. Uh, you have Mickey Schwermer here, James Cheney here, Andrew Goodman right here. Now, this this is not their burial site. This is just a memorial for those individuals. Uh, I do not have a photograph of the burial site to James Cheney, nor that of Andrew Goodman, but uh, this is the uh, uh, cemetery marker, the grave marker there for uh, Michael Schwerner, Mickey Schwerner. All right, one final note here. Again, map of Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi, as I said earlier, I'll repeat myself, it's one of my favorite states. I like Mississippi. I like to spend time there. People are very genial, very, very cordial to you. Uh, Mississippi's had a, a lot of bad history, but many states have bad history, negative history. And, uh, uh, and Mississippi's trying to, has turned the curve on this, just like the remainder of the South and North, too, for that matter. Uh, we hope so, anyway. You know, but I appreciate your attention here with this presentation presentation here. I've enjoyed going through this of Emmett Till and Medgar Evers and Freedom Summer of 1964 here. Thank you very much.